Tangible Triumph here. Life, inspiration, motivation. And we're going to hit you with some Will's wisdom today. When we build things in our life and we decide that we want to physically, mentally, and spiritually invest ourselves into something, as with everything in life, we're faced with challenges. And as we continue to break through the ground and start building our own foundation, structure, and a way of living, we tend to forget that when things are broken down and then built up by yourself, uh, you take a whole new perspective on things. Relate it to a carpenter that builds something. A carpenter has a high set of standards. Most of them I know anyway. And when they build something, initially I was told that they are building it as if they were to build it for themselves. Now, when you take on life's challenges or you decide that you want to build something out of yourself, you need to own it. And it, it doesn't even necessarily have to do with yourself exclusively. You need to own everything that you do in life. Make it yours. Your mission, make it your own. The, what you believe, make it yours. Your job, when you do it, do it to the best of your ability. Make it yours. Hard work and determination could lead to a great success story that doesn't only impact your life, but it will impact others because you're assuming the responsibility for the task at hand. Each project that we set ourselves up with can ultimately have the butterfly effect as Chris discussed last week. And when you have determination and pride in the things that you do, you're also showing your, your, yourself to the task at hand. So now, let's say I go mow my neighbor's lawn. I'm, I'm actually putting my name on the job that I've done. And I'm going to commit myself to that 100% no matter what. Why? Because I would treat my neighbor's lawn as if it were my own because at the end of the day, that lawn says, Will did this. What are you committing yourself to in life? And what are you half-assing? Because when you half-ass stuff, you're not really getting anywhere. That actually shows a negative perspective of what you're giving yourself over to. And that can also diminish your reputation. Make it your own process. Everything that you go through is part of your own process. And you need to fully own it. So that on the reverse end, you, you could feel accomplished. Not in an egotistical way where you're taking the accomplishment and boasting about it, right? But in the sense that you can ward off that feeling as if you could have done better, you should have done better, or something could have been done differently. You can walk away and be content with what you have done. Even in some circumstances, you know, you're temporarily there for a moment. And maybe somebody needs your, your support for a moment. Now, allow that support to be the best it can be. Be the best version of yourself while you're giving yourself to that moment. For one, you can learn something. You can take knowledge away. And also, you're impacting somebody else's life. Every time we, we accomplish something good, we do reap the benefits. Just remember, when you commit yourself, don't fall off halfway through the race. If a race car driver is on the racetrack, he doesn't shut his car off when he's almost at the finish line. What's that? I just don't believe in giving yourself half to something. When you fully commit to a cause, fully commit to it. 
With that, I just want to let you all know, have a great day. And as always, all rivers lead to the same ocean. Just don't swim upstream. Have an awesome day. Peace.